Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video, and we are on the test server today looking at some of these new champions, and today we're going to be taking a look at Theodore, and Theodore is amazing, because amazing for spider teams I and mean, we're going to be doing a sub 15 second run which is crazy now obviously this is a crazy fast speed and it's going to be amazing for most people there are some required champions to make this work but you don't need much outside of teodor right and you can pretty much do this like you would any of those super fast sissia speed tunes just use Teodor instead of Sissia. It will work just as well in a lot of ways better, too, because he actually isn't doing quite as much damage to so the Spiderlings live and you get more burns, right? Whole idea behind it. Um, but if you want to see an incredibly fast team, I'm talking nine seconds, there's a link down below in the pinned comment description of this video for Smiley TK, and he does this in, in nine seconds, which is absolutely insane. I really encourage you guys to go check that out. I, you know, recorded this first, but then he came out with his, and I just couldn't do anything about it because I don't have all those champions to be able to make it happen. So I want to make sure you guys go check that out. I think it's an incredibly smart run, really good uh, if you want to get the best possible spider team. Uh, that said, we do have a sponsor for today's video. I do want to go into that, and then we'll go and uh, show you this team. Today's video is sponsored by Into the AM. They are a clothing company. They offer t-shirts and sweatshirts and other other clothing items for you out there but i absolutely love them i'm wearing their stuff right now in fact because if you're anything like me you have a tendency to have some really ill-fitting and boring t-shirts that just don't make you look that great well these shirts fit amazing they kind of accentuate the parts that you want accentuated and they look cool too and i have a link down below in the pin comment and description of this video where if you use that you will save 10 percent on any of your orders and right now they're offering three graphic t-shirts for $60 and or three basic t-shirts for $49.95. And of course, use my code, use that link, and you save an extra 10% on top of that. I'm absolutely stoked to be wearing these shirts. I'm really happy to be sponsored by them because they gave me a few shirts for free. And I really like wearing them. I think they make me look good. And, you know, I figure if you guys want to look good too, you might want to get some of these t-shirts as well. Certainly worth checking them out. So make sure to use that link in the pinned comment and description of this video. Save yourself 10%. By just clicking on my link it's that simple all right guys i'm just gonna cover the gear really quickly because really there's not a lot of it which is one of the cool things about this comp um also you don't need any books on teodor which is pretty remarkable just to make this happen i think he's a great champion to be used elsewhere but as far as spider goes you don't need any books whatsoever and you can see the team that we're using right we have one aoe hp burn champion in mordecai you could use it ignatius you can really use anybody that can do aoe hp burn i just like mordecai because he does zero damage to the spiderlings and he's strong affinity, so he's gonna land those debuffs nine times, 99 times out of 100, 97 times out of 100, more like it. But yeah, most of the time he's gonna land them just fine. This is 100%, even if he misses one or two of them. Um, we have Sissia in there, we have Teodore in there. They're both gonna explode those HP burns, and then two cold hearts to keep the turn meter of the Spider Queen down, as well as do a little bit of extra damage to get us where we need to be. Now, uh, we look at the champions here, we can see that I have hardly any gear on any of them which is absolutely ridiculous look at this i got three pieces on sissia i've got uh if we look at theodore i think i've got three pieces on him as well boom heart two pieces on him right there's like zero zero gear on most of these champions here all we need to do is make sure we're hitting the proper thresholds as far as speeds as far as accuracy right so i need accuracy on mordecai i want accuracy on at least one of my cold hearts just to reduce that turn meter and that's all I need with the cold hearts. I just need to make sure I have enough crit damage. So he's doing the max damage for stage 25. And then as far as speed goes, I need at least one of them over 170. Um, and everybody else can kind of be above 160 on the team. I, that When my testing, that seemed to work just fine. Now, like I said, Smiley does a great job of breaking this down. So I, I do encourage you to go watch that video because he goes into more detail as far as the stat requirements. But, you know it doesn't take a lot really is really the key it doesn't take a lot one thing you want to make sure though is that theodore goes before sissia basically what you want you want one cold heart to go first then you want the hp burn to go then you want theodore to go and then you want sissia to go and the other cold heart can go pretty much anywhere in there if you do those things you're going to be just fine as far as this goes and you can see the run it's going to be 15 seconds 14 seconds if it goes right so you know bear with me here 
we get in, we start off, right? Let the spiderlings come. One cold heart goes, the last spiders go, and then we just need to get that HP burnout, explode it with Theodore, explode it with Sissia, and then the spiderlings burn the rest of the way down. And there you go. See, yeah, sometimes sometimes it falls just a little short, but the thing is, it's going to be 100% guaranteed. There we go, because we have spider, we have HP burn on the spider queen, so it's done. Easy breezy. Let's see if I can do it again. Let's see if I can actually get to that 14 seconds uh, there. This is faster than I've ever done a team on this before, so it's pretty remarkable, I think. Boom. Get the, the damage from the cold hearts. The burns both explode, and now we just need a little spider links to do their work. And there you go, 16 seconds, pretty close. I'd really love to get to 14, we'll do it one more time, see if we can't make it happen. Um, there's just not a whole lot to making this work because all we gotta do is get that burnout and explode it. It's really that simple. And then we just let the little spiderlings do their thing. Now, you know, if we could get some, you know, if there's more like CC available, that would definitely be good for us. But with the champions that I have on my account, this is the way it works. Obviously, 23 seconds, not too bad. It's not the most consistent, but I'm never over 24, 25 seconds, right? It's still fast, even if it's not uh, the really fast 14 second team, but it's just remarkable. We didn't get, one, see one of the spiderlings didn't get the HP burn and that's just one more burn that we're missing to finish it off and keeps us just short of getting to the numbers that we want, unfortunately. But you can see, even when we don't land all the burns, it's still guaranteed. And I don't care that the spiderlings are killing people. Doesn't affect this run whatsoever. It's really simple. It's so funny. I'm like, literally, we've done like eight runs in, you know, a minute here. It's so fast, which is great. But there we go. We got all the HP burns. Everything's going out there. They're ticking away. Mordecai decides to take an attack in there because he's annoying like that. And that's, yeah, yeah, it's just a little bit short, but I have done 14 seconds, I guarantee it. I really wish I could show it right now. Of course I haven't. So one of the reasons why this isn't always consistent is Mordecai doesn't land his HP burn all the time, right? There's always that 3% chance to resist. If he lands it on everybody, like right there, we have a pretty good chance of getting that 14 second mark as just enough spiderlings will go to click it all. Boom, 15 seconds, pretty good, pretty good. I'll take that, uh, 15 seconds, not too shabby. Now, you can definitely use like an Ignatius where you're not gonna get any resistances on it. That's gonna work out perfectly for you because it's guaranteed to land. Um, he does some damage though, and you really wanna limit the damage that you're doing these spider links because you want them to burn. They actually have to live so that they can get the burns out, and it's pretty tricky to do. So that's kind of the, the, the balance there with that, right? Now, obviously, if we had some ways to not have the spiderlings take a turn that would be ideal and i recommend watching smiley's video to kind of get the lowdown on that but it's pretty fun it's pretty fun little team it's very consistent you know if i can get three runs in a minute that's an incredibly fast thing this makes cvc super easy makes everything a lot easier and uh yeah if i need some silver real quick i just run some spiders real fast and all of a sudden i have a few hundred few uh few tens of millions of silver in my account so which is really nice so if you have Theodore, I think he's fabulous. Now, obviously, you can run these teams without Theodore. You don't necessarily need him. There are super fast speed. I'm sorry. You can run these teams without Sissia. They're super fast speed teams uh, using Sissia. And I, like I said, Theodore is a perfect substitution for that can work really good so anyway guys that's the video hopefully you like this uh hopefully you guys are gonna get Tudor. I, I think he's gonna be really really strong and he's gonna be really strong even outside of this so he's actually probably gonna be one of those champions where you might use them only for spiders but you could definitely use them in other areas i think he's gonna be insane for hydra personally um but yeah really good champion i'm really excited to actually build him out and test him in some other areas of this game and it's because i think he's gonna be a pretty darn you know top tier champion in this game right now make sure to go check that into the am link i have down below if you like some shirts they got some cool ones i'm still wearing one right now absolutely love their clothes i think they fit really good and they look really awesome so definitely check that out and uh yeah that's all we got guys till next we meet on the deadwood jedi